striking French crossbreed aims to tempt people away from SUVs. Design and Styling Since Stellantis was formed in 2021, encompassing no fewer than 16 brands, the company's scale of engineering rationalization has been profound. We see it here again in the 408, which shares its EMP 2V3 platform with the DS4, Vauxhall Astra and Citroën C5X, as well as the Peugeot 308. It means this car can carry pure combustion, mild hybrid, plug-in hybrid and battery electric powertrains, although for now the range offers only a three-cylinder petrol pure tech and two more powerful plug-in hybrid options. Mild hybrid and solely electric versions are on the way and are expected to land later in 2023. Our hybrid 180e E8 test car is the less powerful of the two FEVs, making 178 brake horsepower from its 1,598 cubic centimeters turbo petrol engine and electric motor, which is mounted upstream of the 8-speed automatic transmission. The range-topping hybrid 225e E8 uses an identical setup, only with a combined 221 brake horsepower massage, out of the powertrain. Interior Were you to slide from the confines of, say, the similarly conceived Mercedes GLC Coupe, and into the 408, the French car's deficit in visual impact, and materials quality wouldn't be night and day. Far from it. Peugeot has raised its game considerably, in recent times, and the cockpit of its new fastback crossover represents the current culmination of its efforts to be more premium. Slimline air vents neatly inhabit the upper edge of an artfully contoured dashboard, and the transmission tunnel of our GT Spec car had a finish akin to what you would expect to find on high-end German kitchen goods. The display inside the instrument binnacle also has a surprisingly convincing 3D effect, and the three strata control array consisting of a touchscreen display, a touch-sensitive menu panel, and then a row of physical toggle-type switches, marks an interesting and urbane approach. We like it. Engines and performance The 408 range has yet to be crowned, with a Peugeot Sport engineered derivative, as you can have with the 508. It means that even the fastest version, the hybrid 225, musters only a 7.8 seconds, claimed 0 to 62 miles per hour time. For the hybrid 180 tested here, that drops to 8.1 seconds, and our recorded test time was 8.2 seconds to 60 miles per hour. That's fine but perhaps a little unremarkable for such a rakish looking car. A 30 to 70 miles per hour time of 7.3 seconds in kick down is also on the leisurely side, but not to the extent that it hinders overtaking, as we have found can happen with the entry-level, 128 brake horsepower 3-cylinder PureTech model. On the road, the character of the 408's performance is probably more important than objective figures. And it's mostly agreeable when the powertrain is left in its default hybrid mode. The 8-speed gearbox can hunt around at times, and the car's brain can sometimes conjure up an unexpected combination of petrol and electric force but, on the whole, Tip-in response is satisfyingly crisp as the electric motor immediately reacts first with a dose of torque. That's our brief discussion this time, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share for other latest video updates. Thank you.